，预备，走。Connect your hands. So, breathe in, breathe out. Push upward. Yes, and we turn to the right. And slowly turn to the left. And go back to the center. Breathe slowly. Open. Breathe out and relax. So in this first movement in the Bada and Qin Qi Gong, I often see that students have three very common mistakes. So let me uh, introduce the first one. Uh, the most important part in the Badan Chin uh, first uh, movement is that uh, you keep your gravity center always at the same point. And before I talk more about that, I want to uh, uh, point out that uh, most students uh, always shift around while they do the movement, okay? So this is something you should keep in mind, that your gravity center uh, should always stay in place, okay? So when we are turning, you should not try to shift on the right or you should not try to shift on the left. So how can you figure out yourself if you're shifting around? When you feel the pressure is different on both feet, then there is something definitely wrong. Try to keep the position as straight as possible. Uh, how we do that? Uh, when you turn around at 90 degree angle, you see that here, the posture should always be relaxed foremost, okay? So, the important part is here, the lower back. When you try to touch the lower back here, should be very soft, okay? So, when the spine is straight and here, you try to relax. You should try to bring the hip in. Yeah? And so that you can see the, the opposite, yes? When you're pointing the hip out, then you're feeling you're becoming hard here, okay? So this is something you want to avoid. So try to put the hip in, but keep the spine straight. And now you're feeling that the lower back here can still relax, yes? So when you have this, the spine goes up in a straight line. And we use this straight line for the movement later on. But simply, when you're turning now, please try to turn, you shouldn't, you shouldn't shift the pressure on, on one feet. So always keep the pressure the same on both feet, all right? So try to keep this in mind, okay? Maybe try to exercise for yourself if you feel any difference and try to control yourself at the lower back if there is something hard. If not, start over and try to relax fully and always include one element in the movement till you can figure it out. The second mistake is the shoulder. Often I see people stretching the shoulder and pushing the shoulder upwards. And this is something you should keep in mind. What is the, is, is the core of the movement, okay? Please turn around once again. When you, when you raise the hands, yes, and you push upward, it is very important that the shoulder are not going up. Yeah? So here, the shoulder and the hip uh, will connect if both are relaxed. How, how is that possible? Because the shoulder goes in, you push down to the ground, okay? And at the same time, because the shoulder is relaxed and you're stretching upward, you push the spine to the outside. So the upper part pushing up, stretching upward, and the lower part, because of the hip, 
pushes the downward. So this way you can decompress your spine if you are relaxed. If you're adding now the muscle tension by, by pulling up the shoulders, then you have muscle tension. How can you stretch your spine? So keep this in mind, okay? Okay, thank you. Relax. So uh, let's do the movement once, uh, like before, but keep this now in mind, yes? Try to be centered and relax the shoulder. Don't push it up and try to turn as much as possible, okay? We try once more. So, breathe in, breathe out, yes? Hip inside, shoulder relax, push upward. And we turn to the right. Don't shift. Keep the center. Turn right as much as possible. And now maybe you're feeling the stretching. And go again to the left. Make sure the pressure on your feet is equal. And we're going back to the center. And open, relax. One more important part in this movement is that you don't curve your spine. Often, if you have pain or blocks in the lower or upper back, it is possible that you have a misconception of your straight posture. So to make sure, the first indicator I already explained to you, you should feel equal pressure on both feet. But the other is uh, not so easy to understand. Try to keep the hip and the shoulder always the same high. So don't try to have one side higher or one shoulder higher like this. And when we do the movement, uh, you see here, often I see students doing this. They try to curve the spine and turn to the side or something like this. This type of twisted motion you shouldn't really do because you compromise your lower back stretching and the spine decompression. So really try to focus or look at yourself in the mirror and try to keep your posture on the outside as straight as possible. It is especially often happening when people turn to the outside that they're curving the spine like this or like so, okay? So you should always keep it straight and keep hip and shoulder the same high. This is how you can look at yourself in the mirror, check your shoulder position and spine posi uh, hip position, and then you can be sure that you're standing straight. Okay, so now we, we do the form once again. And one last important part of information is your eyes. When you do the movement, okay, you try to imagine the turning point of your spine and try to look at the turning point of your spine in your hands. This way you're connecting and can focus on the whole movement. In the Wudang Qigong, the eyes and the look is a very important part, which becomes much more important later on for advanced students. For now, try to remember that the turning point is the direction of your power, and you're looking directly on it while, you, while you're turning. And don't try to lose the focus on your turning point. While we do the whole movement, try to breathe naturally, six to eight seconds in, six to eight seconds out. So for example, we will now start the full movement. Traditionally, we do it three times each side. All right, um, please turn around here so the people can see the other side. And we go. So breathe in and breathe out. So, turn right. So, turn left.
So, right again. So. The knees always should stay straight. So. So. So, and go back to center, slowly open and relax.